So many kids go home from school to empty homes, but this fall, kids in Springfield have a new option. Jennifer O'Brien is here from Willamaline Park and Recreation District. So what's going on over there? I like your shirt. Thank you. We are opening up a new youth center called 250. It's going to be open to all middle school youth in Springfield. Mm -hmm. We're really excited about that. So it, where did this 250 name come from? Well, we actually submitted the opportunity to the public. We wanted public's input. We wanted teens to submit ideas. And what we did is we narrowed it down to the top five, and then the kids voted on it. And so it's totally a, a teen voted name. Uh -huh. So she got, a, she got a nice prize for that. Yeah, too, she got a $50 gift card. <laughs> Very nice, <laughs> especially for back to school shopping. Absolutely. Um, so um, this is down the street from Agnes Stewart Middle School, but there was there was a teen program before, wasn't there? Absolutely. So what's, what's gone on here? So our former teen center was located next to Springfield Middle School, uh, but mm -hmm. when we acquired the former regional sports center, we had an opportunity to design a facility or space that was actually youth. Um, driven and so that's yeah. what we were able to do and being so close to Agnes Stewart with Agnes being the uh, biggest middle school in Springfield mm -hmm. is a mm -hmm. great opportunity for our youth. Mm -hmm. um, so Springfield Middle School is no longer. Yeah last year so was this last year and so it, it, it worked out well because it wouldn't have made any sense for us to continue that operation. Uh, moving the facility over to the current Willam Lane Center mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. be great Just for the old kids. name obviously. Exactly. But um, that's where going to be. That is such a great space, Jennifer. So did the kids kind of give you an idea as to what they wanted in there? And I know there's been a lot of work inside, Absolutely. a lot of gut cleaning yeah. in, in the middle of it. Um, so did the kids have input into what they wanted to do after school? You know, we've really looked at what their interests are as uh -huh. well as kind of the infrastructure that was already there. We already sure. had a climbing wall and a bouldering wall. Mm -hmm. um, we're refacing the multi-purpose floor right now as we speak. And mm -hmm. so all the, these opportunities, amenities that are already in Willam Lane Center will be accessible to members of 250. So that's mm -hmm. really exciting. We're going to have eight 42-inch screen TVs hooked up to PS3s where that's really going <laughs> to hit that gaming oh market. Um, we have a 18 foot uh, screen where we're projecting a 3D HD TV um, thing where we are hooking up more game systems too. But we also have the fundamentals of homework help and arts and crafts and uh, getting the kids input as to ongoing programming at the space. Okay, Jennifer, this is where um, I'll our foster kids Christmas party is held in, okay. in December. I know you can fit thousands of people in there. How many are, kids are you expecting in this program? Probably not as many as will eventually I be hope there. that, yeah, I mean, Agnes Stewart has about 700 kids, and I would love uh, to have about oh. a third of that ads membership, if not Wouldn't more. That be wonderful? So we can have inside the facility itself, I mean, we could have upwards of 100 kids. They, some of them could be back in 250 doing video games, while others are on the bouldering wall mm -hmm. or others shooting hoops. So mm -hmm. it's an opportunity to where we can just catapult our numbers and really make an impact in the youth in Springfield. So we're excited. So are you hoping that kids from where, okay, so from all all the surrounding neighborhoods will come over after school basically Absolutely. and just chill and Absolutely. be in a safe place too. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean there's so many things that you know we want our kids to be participating in good choices and, and being active and that's oh, why we're here. That's huge. Okay, so how do kids sign up because that's still ahead? Yes, uh, the membership forms are available the first day which is September 7th. They can come by the first day they come. They can check it out, see if they really like right. this space, see if it's something they want to become members to. It's totally free. They just need to take the membership form home and parents sign it and go over a membership agreement with them and then they're good to go. So they have a membership card that Absolutely. they have to show when they come in. Yes, they'll scan it. And the parents have to sign off on it. So basically it's a security thing. So you, if there's you know a lost child or something, you can check to see if the child is, is exactly. The and school if there's ever an emergency, we can mm -hmm. have that information on file to right. get, a, get a hold of the parents and what have you. Right. And, and if you lose a card, it's only a dollar to replace. Yes, the card. it's only a dollar to replace. So this it's nice. sounds like such a great deal. I yeah. wish it had been around when I was in middle <laughs> school. But anyway, thanks, Jennifer. Okay, so middle school parents, watch out for your um, enrollment card in the in, uh, information that's coming home after school. Yes, on the membership forms. Yeah. So. Okay. Thanks, Jennifer. Thank you. Good luck with this new program. Thanks. We'll be right back.